kids, thank God. That relationship was a trip, it was so hard. She had no feeling, sex was so unpeeling. Every time we argue, my temperature went right through the ceiling. But wait, wait, I got some news to report. Me and the girl got a divorce for real. Thank God. I was doing a lot of praying. Then you came up in my life, know what I'm saying. God heard me, He blessed me. I listened and He said, Be patient. He tested me. He sent me the best one, nothing like the last one. Sex was so good, got to keep you in my life. So I don't want no, I don't want no, I don't want no problems with you, with you. Don't want no problems, don't want no problems with you. Trying to juggle them Flex my muscles to muscle And anger is all I see, home Much I can't speak on Why don't love me, mom and pops And do wrong and they freak on Love me That's what I had to do Love me And you, you got to love you Love me That's what I had to do Love me And you, you got to love you Love me 
what I had to do Searching for a hero Thinking that I ain't good enough to be the one to lead those so-called people So they can soar above eagles A needle stuck in my ego Need a credo to believe mo Lyrical Devo Mean amigo with vocal sequels Tote evil like bold weevil Searching for dirt when I speed load Wrapping beats around my libido like burritos And let my anger increase flows In prison whites or street clothes Rhythmic high jumpers show them That I can reach mo and see mo Then just club hopping and hustling kilo Gripping the mic like it was so precious Precious and I was Smeagol Kick down the door to get a better view than just a peephole Letting go like I'm a wild animal that's feral Wouldn't you be crazy to spend 20 years of free flows? So with no repo cause my world be on remote I'm loving me so I don't need no re or a revo me That's what I had to do to brand yourself and your business at the same time and we're gonna find that at addicted to success.com slash entrepreneur dash profile slash how dash to dash brand dash yourself dash and dash your dash business dash at dash the dash same dash time slash Published one minute ago, January 21st, 2018. If you don't start playing with me. By Ellie. Uh-oh. Another one of those long last names. <laughs> Bashiksa. I think it is. If I said your name wrong, please forgive me. And it says, in the age of automation, people seek to feel personally connected to companies more than ever. The most successful brands have a well-developed narrative and voice delivering messages to their followers with an air of approachability and ease. Nobody can deny that they prefer feeling like they are being talked with and not talked at. For many companies, this process involves telling the story of their CEO slash founder just as much as telling the story of the company. A company's foundation and values is often based on those of its founders and building a successful brand often begins with a certain level of personal publicity and networking. It's common knowledge that investors invest in ideas and ideas are direct products of people. So as the person behind an idea, how can you ensure you are doing yourself and your company justice in terms of branding? Below are three characteristics of your brand you must think about in order to be a success. One, What's your story? Make your company's story your story. People revere Steve Jobs just as much as they do Apple because they have followed his and Wozniak's struggles and successes for just as long. With his trademark black turtleneck Levi 501s and mega casual New Balance sneakers, the simplicity of his look directly mirrored the minimalism of Apple's design. Be it unintentionally, Jobs branded himself just as much as he did Apple. 
Whether you're the owner of a startup or small business, you will want to establish the same connection on your company's about page. Tell your about your history and how it has led you to where you are now. Discuss your vision, goals, and aspirations for the future of the company and how events in your personal life inspired you to begin your business. For example, real estate guru Barbara Corcoran has frequently discussed how a failed relationship and financially strained upbringing led to her establishment of her multi-million dollar firm. Candidates and personal publicity are what people admire most in a founder. So sit down. Decide what story you want to tell. Determine what kind of voice you are going to use to tell it, be it modest, confident, or humorous, and then decide how you want to tell it. There's always room for a story that can transport people to another place. J.K. Rowling. Two, set your brand into motion. As discussed, branding is all about the story you tell and how you tell it. Social media has become an excellent outlet for that because it is one place where a brand can behave as a person. You can create your company's Facebook page and people watch as it interacts with other people. Of course, this is a person acting on behalf of the brand, but that person has a personality, candor and voice that people begin to associate with the brand itself. You may be a one man band handling your own marketing and day to day operations, or you may have hired a marketing rep team to handle the social media for you. If it's the latter, establishing a shared belief of what the voice is for your brand is crucial. Nobody will follow a company whose tone is inconsistent. People like relability, trustworthiness and relatability. Whatever voice you choose for your brand should not be too far off from your own. The names of Elon Musk business ventures and projects are based directly on his spontaneous wit and spasmodic humor. The Boring Company, the BFR and Tesla models as 3XY released in that order from an obvious end result. Much like Musk did, using platforms such as Facebook and Twitter is an important element in voicing you, your and your brand's opinions. You will want to gain traction on your personal and your business accounts and interweave the topics and narrative styles of both accounts on a consistent basis. Three, be your brand. Business cards, interviews, your company website and networking events. These are all ways to solidify and build your brand. Wherever you go, you are embodying a persona that people will forever associate with your business. By having a say in your company's identity, that persona will even show in aspects like your logo, website design, and mission statement. Knowledge of branding means that you will always be your own publicist, even when you can one day afford to hire one. Self-branding is the precursor to success, hence the rise of influencers and public figures in the social media era. Developing your personal brand and having an existing following will garner the much needed support for your business. Suddenly, the people who have followed you personally become potential investors, crowdfunders, and advertisers. Never underestimate the power of the share button for your business. If you make customers unhappy in the physical world, They might each tell six friends. If you make customers unhappy on the internet, they can tell 6,000 friends. Jeff Bezos. Creating continuity, popularity, and solidarity between your personal brand and your company's brand is as simple as ensuring you pour as much of yourself into your company's work as possible. This involves being directly involved in establishing its image, pitching it to investors, and writing articles on behalf of your company for publishers and influencers. You are your own spokesperson and social media makes that feat easier than ever. How do you make sure you're branding yourself correctly, whether as an individual or with your business? Let us know your thoughts below. And that is our quote for the day. And don't miss five reasons why perfectionists cannot be entrepreneurs on addicted to success dot com right underneath how to brand yourself in your business at the same time. So that is the point, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think this is an awesome way to get started on how to set your brand and your business in motion. And don't forget, if you want to advertise your business and also do a radio interview as an artist, entrepreneur or leadership life coach, you can follow me at DD Boss Lady podcast, or you can check me out on the Dadiski Diane page. The Dadiski Diane page is music industry leadership, all of that. And then um, the Boss Ladies podcast is for life, love, and leadership. So it has a little bit of everything. So overall, I talk about everything. And we are looking for honest, teachable, hungry, ambitious, and people that are there to be different. Looking for something more in life. No promises. Just engage on the app Spreaker.com. So that's really all I had to say. Good afternoon, morning, and evening. And I will see you soon on the next show. Peace. We are now transferring you to a customer care room. Please hold the line and we will answer your call as soon as possible. Thank you for choosing. By the way, to ensure you're getting great service, your call may be recorded or monitored.